everyone welcome back to my little homestead it's winter here in New Zealand and this morning I'm going to make some lovely pumpkin muffins um, and I just love recipes for pumpkin and spices cinnamon and things like that when the days get a little bit cooler and this is a recipe that I've actually adapted um, you can have it with bananas or different things in it but I really love it in the winter just to have it with um, the pumpkin and I also chop up a little bit of apple as we've got lots of apple trees here on this property and it's just nice to try and find all sorts of ways to stick um, apples into things. So I've already started a little bit. I've just ground up two cups of whole grain oats with my Vitamix, um, just organic whole grain oats and then I've got... Um, for egg whites, you can either use um, fresh or you could just use packet egg whites. And then I've cooked up some pumpkin from the garden and I just need one cup of cooked pumpkin. So I'm just going to get that out of there and we'll have a wee chit chat. Okay, I'm just whizzing up two cups of whole grain oats into a fine flour. Short work of that. I love this Vitamix. So I'll just check that and make sure it's fine enough. Yep, yeah, that's great. Okay, so now into this flour, I'm going to be adding a whole bunch of things. So we need to add one cup of pure, cooked, pureed, fairly dry pumpkin. So I've just um, steamed some in a pot. This is just some pumpkin that we grew in the garden. So I'm just going to mash, mash that up and add that in. So I'm just going to um, cut the pumpkin, the green skin, away from the flesh. And then I'll just mash it up until we've got about a cup. And then if I've got too much, I'll just pop it in a wee zippy bag or a container and put it in the freezer. So I think... Um, I haven't uploaded a video for a while. I've made a couple of videos, but just didn't get round to it. But yeah, I was thinking, gosh, hasn't the world just gone absolutely crazy in a very short time? Um, yeah, I just can't even believe the stuff that's been going on over in America with looting and rioting, and yeah, I just can't even. I just can't even believe it. It's, I just find it all very shocking. Um, and even though I don't at all condone or agree with the violence that happened to that man um, who died, yeah, I just think the reaction has been just, yeah, unbelievable. I think um, there's obviously been a lot of simmering tensions going on under the surface for such a for the amount of protests and, and all the things that have been going on. It's kind of like that now, world. You can be going along with your life and thinking everything's okay and thinking everybody's happy and then something like that happens and you realise, oh, actually, there's a whole bunch of people that have got issues and, are, and aren't happy about a lot of things that are happening in the world. Um... Yes, but I'm, I, anyway, I don't want to go on about that too much. I just think we all just need to be getting on with living a biblical life if you're a Christian and loving each other and serving God and trying to be a light out there in the world in whatever way we can. And that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to get on with it in our little corner of the world and just treat others, do unto others, as the golden rule says in the Bible, as you would want them to do unto you. So that's what we're striving to do. It's just to always be living that out in our own life. Alrighty, so now I've got one cup of this pumpkin. And as you can see, it's quite dry. And that's just what I want, because I don't want the mixture to be too wet. So I'm just going to pop that into that Vitamix with the flour. All 
Pilati and we might also add in those four egg whites. And they go. Right, now I've got some apples here. They're a little bit a little bit wrinkly, but I don't like to waste anything, so I'm just going to cut off any dodgy bits and peel them and chop them up and they're going to be folded in later on. I'm not going to whiz them up with this stage. So this is a fairly quick recipe to make, but I, I just especially love it because it's, um, like I said, it's very low in gluten, so if you're gluten intolerant, um, I think oats are just quite low in gluten, but they do, from my understanding, have a little bit of gluten. And it can be dairy free, you could just not use yogurt um, and you could just use either a plant based yogurt or you could um, just use more plant based milk but it's not vegan because it's got egg whites but I suppose if you wanted to you could play around with the recipe and use a vegan um, alternative to eggs like a flax egg or something which I'm yet to try a flax egg but I'm quite excited about the, the thought. I love, I love to try new foods and new cuisines and expand my knowledge. I've just ordered a gluten-free baking cookbook because I'm a little bit gluten, not too good with too much gluten myself. But it just seems to be something as I get older that my body is becoming a little bit more sensitive to, to things and I can't tolerate as much um, dairy and wheat and things as I used to years ago. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are finding themselves in the same situation. I don't know if it's because of what they're doing to the grain these days um, or what. Anyway, so I'm just going to dice these up, pop them into this little bowl. I think the last last video that I did on here was the um, the little the seedy bliss balls, which I've been making those quite a bit since I made that video, and I just absolutely love them. So they're probably all all I really have for snacks is these sorts of muffins, these sugar free muffins, or um, those little bliss balls. So tonight, it's winter, like I said, it's winter here, but it's, there's some sun outside, but the air's very cold. I made another little video, which I didn't get around to uploading, and I'd filmed a little bit on a particularly cold day. It was all foggy and quite overcast and awful looking. <laughs> Not that anybody probably wants to see really bad weather when especially like in America, if you're from there and you're watching, you're enjoying really lovely weather right now. So I'll just give, um, well, better weather, spring weather. Okay, so let's just check our recipe. So we've got our pumpkin, we've diced the apple, um, what else do we need? We've done the oats, and I need one cup of Greek yogurt, so I'll just get that out of the fridge. start a new one. I'm just going to rinse this out and reuse this jug to measure out the yogurt. We don't want to make too many dishes for ourselves, do we? So I'd love to hear from you in the comments, anything, whatever's going on in your part of the world that is interesting and you, you'd like to talk about or you want to share with others. I'm more than happy for you to talk to me about it. I've been finding a whole bunch of um, new YouTube channels to watch lately, which is very exciting. Um, I've started following an Asian man who makes just, I think he's actually Korean, 
wonderful recipes for noodles. Um, yeah, lots of those one bowl, you know, bowl kind of dinners where you just have noodles and vegetables and a lovely sort of sauce. I love that kind of food and cooking. Right, that one's particularly messy, so I think we'll just go ahead. If you watch me for any length of time, you'll know that I'm a little bit messy in the kitchen. I'm not one of these pristine kind of cooking shows where everything just looks perfect and amazing. So I've also just added a half a cup of water into that yogurt and I'm going to pour that in there. Just get another little spatula. So this is one of my absolute favourite little spatulas ever. I bought this off Amazon. Um, I actually bought quite a few of them. And they're not cheap. I think the brand is Nort Pro or Nat Pro, something like that, but they're super skinny and you can get right into the bottom of jars and um, wonderful. But yeah, one of the problems I'm finding after this whole well, COVID, the lockdown has gone down to level one in New Zealand now. We've got no more cases. We haven't had any cases for about 12 days or two weeks. So we've gone and officially gone into level one which is fantastic. Okay, so now into our mixture we're going to add um, half a teaspoon of baking soda. Now I always have to be very careful not to get my baking soda and baking powder mixed up. If I take the lids off at the same time, we've got trouble. Now we need baking powder, one and a half teaspoons. And then I like to add to these particular muffins um, psyllium. The psyllium is great for helping with your bowels. So if you have at all any problem with constipation or something like that, then I recommend trying um, psyllium. I don't know if this brand is available still in America, which is where I actually got this container from years ago. But And then I just keep refilling it with new bags of it. But you mix it with water and then it's best to drink it down pretty quickly otherwise it sort of swells up. But it's great to pop into smoothies because it acts like a thickener. Alright, so now we're going to add our sweetener. So like I said, we're not using sugar. I'm using just over half a half cup of this thing called um, Arithi Sweet. And it's a mixture of erythritol... Oh, th this was just pure erythritol, but I mix a teaspoon, to every one cup of pure erythritol, I mix one teaspoon of stevia, powdered stevia. Um, now it says on the back that this is non-GMO, it contains zero calories, um, suitable for vegetarians, it does not promote tooth decay, it's pure erythritol, a sugar substitute, and just trying to think, I can't remember what it's actually made from. Probably some kind of vegetable or something like that. So I'll just get my little half cup measure and let's measure out a half a cup of that. And it goes. Now I've got some sugar free maple syrup. I'm just going to put on a little blob of that and it'll be like a little kind of mapley flavour and then we need a little bit of salt and the only, well actually probably told a lie when I said there was no sugar because I'm going to put in one teaspoon of blackstrap molasses just use my clean finger Get that off. So 
And there was just one more thing I wanted to say. I think just the, way, the world that we're living in today, it's such a PC world. And people are just about afraid to speak up, have an opinion on anything if it doesn't agree with the party line or doesn't agree with um, kind of liberal thinking. It's like if you're more conservative and you just don't agree with that, people are just afraid to speak up. And I actually think that's really dangerous. I think we all need to be able to have our say um, and I know as a Christian, there's a lot of people that are against Bible-believing Christians. And um, I just think, if you, don't, if you don't like it, you don't have to watch my channel. You don't have to follow me. You don't have to listen to what I've got to say. Um, I just stand on the Word of God, and I believe the Bible. Um, it has stood me in good stead all my life, well, for many, many years, over 30 years since I've been a Christian. It's my anchor, it's where I go in times of trouble, it is a narrow way, it shows me the right way to go, and it's sound, it's amazing. I don't know why more people just don't want to be a Christian. It's just got to be the most blessed, wonderful life that I could ever wish for. But I just wanted to encourage you not to be afraid to have you say, not to be afraid to speak up if you don't agree with something. You do not have to go along with what everybody is doing if you think it's wrong or anti-biblical. You just don't have to go along with it. And I just encourage you to be strong, to be bold, and to have you say. Now back to the recipe. Okay, so I need to put in some spices. So here I've got some nutmeg and I've got cinnamon. And we're going to put in a, where's my recipe? Oops, actually that was meant to be two teaspoons of molasses. We'll put in this first. Quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. I never used to like nutmeg, but over the last few years I've, I've started to really love it. And a teaspoon of cinnamon. And we'll just get one more teaspoon of molasses. Sticky old molasses. On one there. Now I'm just going to mix that a little bit with that spatula so we don't end up with um, uneven mixtures. Okay, and then we'll just do one little check to make sure that we've got everything in there that we need. So we've got the pumpkin. The cinnamon, the molasses, the nutmeg, we've got our oats, we've got our sweetener, we've, we've got the salt, we've got the baking powder, the baking soda, the egg whites, the yogurt, the water, and that's all. Okay, so now I'm just going to whiz it up. Probably just on low, and we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so now I'm just going to plop all of that apple in. Give it a wee mix through. And then we're just going to start pouring these into our muffin tins not tins yeah paper lined tins and what i did they're not non-stick papers so i just sprayed them with a little bit of spray oil let's move those we'll bring this over Just going to drop it in. Messy, messy. So try not to make too much mess like me when you're doing it. I'm sort of spilling it everywhere. But sometimes these are a little bit drier than others. Just depends if I've added more liquid or if I've added had, had a few more oats in there but they're really lovely and moist which is what you want in a muffin nobody wants a dry muffin well, I don't think that one's got any apple these will all disappear too alright so now a little bit more oat flour at the bottom of that just going to scrape it out last remaining tangy 
containers with a little bit more and then I'm going to put these in the oven 180 degrees um, for I think I normally do it for about 25 minutes yeah about 25 minutes and you might think that seems like a long time but because it's a very moist mixture it just seems to need that long just for them to cook properly so I'll see you back here in a minute when they're all done okay so here are our lovely apple pumpkin muffins just out of the oven now I'm not going to I can just show you sort of how light and spongy they are they're a little bit moist inside I probably could have added a bit more I'll just turn this I probably could have added a little bit more um, oats ground oats so I think next time um, I'll add a little bit more maybe an extra quarter of a cup and it might just make it um, a little bit drier but I'll um, take some photos of it and add them at the end thanks so much for coming along and watching me make this today bye for now one more little tip I just wanted to say about um, those muffins is just that I normally I wait I what I do is I let them be completely cool before you try and peel the paper off otherwise they'll probably stick and I just normally wait till they're cold and then I freeze them all and I just get one out each day as I need it and then I find if you just let it defrost on its own or put it in the microwave just to defrost it then the paper's easy to peel off just that little tip.